Panta Ray, named after the English transliteration Panta Ray, is a video game engine developed by Capcom, for use with 8th generation consoles, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as a replacement for its previous mount framework engine. Topic background and history Following years of Capcom using their proprietary mount framework engine for video game development during the seventh generation of hardware, it was decided that to maximize productivity in the following generation of hardware it would be necessary to create a new development engine, now titled Panta Ray. This was intended for home consoles while games for smartphones, PlayStation Vita and Nintendo 3DS still use the Mount Framework Mobile and Light engines. Specific design aims for the new engine included increases in workflow efficiency by reducing iteration time for modifications to gameplay and game design. Additionally, the engine introduced improved physical modeling of fluids and emphasis on global illumination rendering. Development of a new engine began in summer 2011. Features of the new development engine included, in-engine management of shader GPU, programs, an engine virtual machine allowing game scripting to be written initially in C-sharp, changes in organization of the workflow, content meant that backwards compatibility with the mount framework engine was lost. The engine corresponds to Direct X11 level of technology. The initial game to be developed with Panda Ray was Deep Down, whose team provided feedback on the engine development. Development of the game and engine were carried out in parallel. A trailer for Deep Down and the Panda Ray engine were publicly demonstrated by Yoshinori Ono at the PlayStation 4 unveiling event in February 2013. The Deep Down technology demo used approximately 3 GB of textures, with 30 shaders, running at approximately 30 frames per second. Graphics techniques used in the Deep Down demo included tessellation, actor's cloak, with deferred rendering implementing dynamic light sources, and surfaces rendered including diffuse and specular light reflections with surface roughness implemented by the Oren Nayer reflectance model. Global illumination calculations such as light from a dragon's fiery breath were estimated using the voxel cone tracing method with one specular ray and an approximation to 12 dodecahedrally situated rays, sampled at a lower resolution, for diffuse reflectance. Moving light sources including flames were modeled using a 64 by 64 by 64 voxel voxel cube size approximately 0.5 meters implemented as 3D textures stored in a mipmap-like structure. Further technology demos showcasing fluid simulations of fire and smoke in the Panta Ray engine were released in August 2013. The tech demo demonstrated the engine's use of volume-based simulations of fire also used in the February 2013 Deep Down video, as opposed to less functional 2D billboarded C -sprite based depictions. The demos used a volume-based physical simulation of the fluid, with fixed voxel size. The simulation of fluid flow used a semi-Lagrangian method for approximations to the solution of the advection equation, specifically vorticity confinement simulations with the McCormack method used to obtain solutions. The voxel representation of the fluid required a ray marching graphics rendering process see volume ray casting, self-shadowing of fluids, and scattering were also implemented in the engine demos. Further details of the game engine were discussed at a talk at CEDEC CESA Developers Conference 2014 given by Hitoshi Mishima Sandao Ren Shi and Haruna Akuzawa. In common with other PS4, Xbox One generation rendering engines the Panta Ray engine used physically based rendering methods for calculating lighting reflectance. Demonstrations based around the Deep Down Panta Ray development video game used a Oren Nayer model for diffuse reflectance, Cook Torrance model for specular highlights replacing a Blin Fong shading model used in earlier demonstrations. Demonstrations used tile-based deferred rendering generally, with forward rendering also applied for simulations of translucent skin effects, and other transparent objects. Indirect lighting was demonstrated again, using a 128 by 128 by 128 voxel grid representing local light intensity, and voxel cone tracing along 12 directions dodecahedral. Specific demonstrations at CEDEC were a pre-integrated skin shader for simulation of light through human /animal skin effects, and a liquid shader. Surface reflections were modeled using a screen space reflection technique originally developed by Crytek, utilizing parallax-corrected environmental maps, a hair modeling effect using runtime compute shader generation of hair positions, in conjunction with tessellation. In November 2014 at AMD's Future of Compute 
Singapore Conference Masaru Ijuan of Capcom announced that AMD's Mantle API technology was being incorporated into the game engine. 